Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you are doing great. Sorry I got the shades on, but the sun just peeked out over the hill. Here, let me give you a little looking at right now. Ooh, the future is bright, guys. Guys, we're gonna be talking about natural gas prices and heating your home and some more inflation stories, right? Um, but I'm also gonna throw out a side hustle idea. This just gave me a great idea. And um, as you're seeing this video, it should be coming out, what, on Sunday? Um, I'll be uploading the, uh, I think there's like six more lessons getting tacked onto the course. Uh, then the price is going up, so that should happen tomorrow, Monday. Um, but as I keep going, I keep getting all these ideas for side hustles and like inspiring you to start a side hustle because I, I, we need to take back our country. And the only way we're gonna do that is through manufacturing, producing jobs, becoming a producing nation and not a using nation like we've been, okay? So um, if you guys want, I'll leave a link to that side hustle course uh, down below. I wanted to give that introductory offer as I'm building the course. And I've been getting amazing feedback from you guys actually about it. And so I can tailor more classes and I'm just gonna once a month keep popping in lessons so once you're into the price, you're in, and just hopefully it's gonna really inspire people. But sorry, let's get the story. Come on, Ninja, get with it. We're supposed to talk about natural gas. So we're gonna talk about side hustle too because this is it. Heating your home will hurt this winter as natural gas prices climb. And I'm telling you, there's never been a better uh, time to start a firewood side hustle. As a matter of fact, um, Google searches for firewood for sale has starting to rise and I think that's really impressive. And this is the time if you, um, regardless if you wanna start a side hustle, go buy your firewood right now. It's hot, it's summer, there's a drought. Most people, you know the 99% or 98% of the people that are sheep that don't pay attention, they just listen to CNN and go along with their lives. Um, they're not thinking about firewood right now. I want you guys to go out. If you have a wood burning stove, go and get some firewood. I'm not joking. And yes, if you wanna start a side hustle, that is a super simple side hustle. I'm gonna literally make a class, a lesson for the course out of firewood side hustle. Um, all right, so here we go. This is out of the hedge, I'm gonna link it below. It says, it'll take more than an extra sweater to stay warm this winter. Anyone heating with natural gas will require extra money to burn in the furnace. Natural gas is sharply higher than it was last year. This week, natural gas was $8.20 and MCF. Um, the volume of 1,000 cubic feet. This is the price paid to gas producers set by Henry Hub. It is the highest price in 14 years. Now, let's preface, let's, let's um, give a little bit of context here. Well, wait, first off, seasonality. Natural gas has very seasonal changes, right? Obviously, when it gets colder, natural gas prices go up. Why? Because demand rises. There are a lot of people that are on natural gas uh, or propane that they can go and like propane, they can have their propane tanks filled ahead of time and sort of uh, hedge, right, against inflation or hedge against seasonal price increases. Uh, not everybody has that with natural gas, right? Again, that's why I think you're going to start seeing more people running to their fire excuse me, fireplace and their wood burning stove to heat their home. Um, it says here, a year ago in August of 2021, natural gas was half the cost at just $4.07 in MCF. And in 2019, when Donald Trump was president and natural gas was $2.22. That's weird. Would you look at that? Would you just look at that? Everything keeps going up. That's weird. Sorry, just I gotta throw that out. Have you seen that guy on YouTube? It's freaking hilarious. Would you look at that? Just look at it. It's crazy. Those prices just keep going up. Here's a quote. Because of what's going on globally and because of the politi policies in certain areas, producers are not able to produce as much gas and when it drives the price and it drives the price up. That's from Dan Weaver, president and executive director at Pennsylvania Independent Oil and Gas Association. Guys, I'm going to put this story down. We're just going to chat here. This is, these are very serious times. And I gotta add some comedy into it because sometimes you just gotta laugh. And the good news is you're part of Ninja Nation. You're people that are prepared, not scared. You're thinking ahead of time. You're not thinking like about tomorrow. Um, you're not looking back into the past. You're looking at six months to six years ahead. And you're getting ready for that because the 98% aren't ready for it. I know it sounds crazy, we're gonna read natural gas prices are exploding all over the world, right? And you have glo global uh, supply issues because of geopolitical events. And I think they're gonna get worse, honestly. Um, you have literally uh, hyperinflation starting around Europe in energy prices. And I believe that's gonna come in, uh, in America. I believe you're gonna see energy hyperinflate. 
And if you don't have your solar, right, or you don't have wood in your fireplace, you are going to suffer for it. There's more money that's gonna come out of your pocket and go into your utility bills that should be hopefully going into buying the next house as the housing market crashes because all those idiots didn't pay attention. Now I only say idiots to insult them, but that's okay because I'm trying to wake them up. It's like, wake up buddy, wake up. You want some smelling salts? You wanna sniff, you wanna sniff a little truth? This is really happening. Hey, guess what? The, uh, let's go off on a rant. And for all of you guys that don't like rants, a little disclosure, just hit the turn off button, unsubscribe, it's cool. Inflation Reduction Act just happened. Well, that's exciting. That's going to do nothing to reduce inflation, but they put it in the title so it didn't, you know, people weren't running around pitchforks. And you're gonna find out really soon that I believe that that act is the equivalent to the Patriot Act, but on the economy side, not your privacy and your, uh, you know, you know what I mean. It's gonna hurt you more financially. There's gonna be a few people that get sprinkled a little bit of money. Let them eat cake. It's very expensive cake, but let them eat it. Point being is this. These are the times to get prepared. And I say it all the time, it's important to have food, right? Why? Even if I'm wrong and there's not a natural disaster in your area, and I don't know if you've been paying attention, this sort of happening around like lately. It's like a storm cloud just hovering over Vegas lately. But inflation, you're going to save yourself from inflation. I wanna throw a shout out to Patera at, um, oh man, see, Ninja, you need notes. Uh, Guys, show Patera's channel name, Appalachia Homestead with Patera. She's a really neat lady. She gave me a shout out on my channel a few months ago and really helped the channel out. I mean, so many subscribers jumped onto the channel and uh, amazing, amazing people, right? Well, she's, she's a lady, my age, has a homestead, uh, I wanna say in Tennessee. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna be going to Tennessee sometime before the first of the year and we can, uh, we can all hang out. Um, but she just talks about downright, she's not a prepper, she's just, smart. It's like, well, you know, I eat eggs. Why not have extra? Why not have some chickens? I like vegetables. I eat them. Why not grow them myself? Why? I got an idea. How about not being dependent on the government? That's a novel idea. That's what will get us out of all this. That is what's crazy. See, dependency through uh, your master, the slave, that's why you're given a master card, right? When you're here in college, master card's like, here, I want to be your uh, your owner, your your slave, your master have a MasterCard and get you in debt. When you are in debt, you have no options. You can barely breathe and barely see light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to financially. And that's why I keep preaching, it's important to get out of debt right now. It's so important. And I believe that as you get out of debt, right, that you are gonna be blessed and blessed and blessed. And you're gonna go from one blessing to the next. Um, as you start your side hustle and you go and help people, right? You give them information, you share knowledge. Um, you are going to be blessed, you're gonna increase. And that's my prayer for all of you guys, as a matter of fact, that's what I believe is gonna happen. That this um, Ninja Nation is going to keep growing and expanding larger and larger. You know, I could sit there and pretend, you know, that I'm a, uh, an, you know, some guru, you know, international businessman that, uh, you know, runs around afflicted all the time, uh, but I'm just me. You know, yeah, I've got, I got a handful of businesses. I'm a firefighter. Uh, and I, I shouldn't say it like that. I'm, I'm proud to be, I, I love my job. Uh, I, I work with amazing men and women. Um, but like, there's nothing fancy. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've, I've accomplished, let's say more than some and less than others, right? But I do believe in this movement of being prepared. And I believe, and I keep meeting you guys. Um, as a matter of fact, this is where the channel started. This is a really crazy tangent, but I think there's some people that need to see the, hear this and be encouraged by this. I started this channel here and I talked about that someday I'm gonna own this land, right? Now I'm gonna wait because it's commercial, it's not developed yet, and it's gonna plummet in price. I'm gonna pick it up for pennies on the dollar and it'll be really cool to have like a YouTube studio here or something like that. Um, uh, but I, I, I've, I've, I've been here before and had subscribers waiting at the end of the street corner to meet me and wait not patiently for me to turn my camera off. And meeting you guys has absolutely changed my life. And the reason why I'm telling you about Patera is because you know, you never know when you give just a, a word of kindness to someone and, and just totally blow them up. And this channel was growing exponentially before. And then I got this kind word from, from this nice lady 
that's that's just out there crushing it. I think Patera's got like 400,000 subscribers. If you haven't heard of her, go check her out, seriously. Um, and let her know the ninja was talking about her. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't sound bad. Um, but my point being is that, um, and you guys, you guys came over from Patera's channel and, and I think it's so neat meeting you guys. You know, natural gas is gonna get higher, guys. Um, this inflation, it ain't going bye-bye. I'm gonna probably do a story pretty soon about Argentina, it's getting pretty nutty. I wanna say they just raised their rates to 59.5%. Uh, we'll talk about that later, but it's some crazy number. And my point being is that we need to be ready for this. And I want you to be prepared because I don't wanna go crush it by myself. And I don't wanna be alone. I don't wanna be lonely. And I wanna make friends by helping people. And I want you guys to be ready to go crush it and then go be good landlords. Be good landlords to people. There's nothing better than being able to lower someone's rent. Oh man, you know what? They just gave me an idea for the, uh, for the, the side hustle class. I'm gonna go with that being said, and I'm gonna go make another real estate video, okay? All right, guys, that being said, thank you so much. If you wanna check out the side hustle course for the introductory offer, check it out in the link below. All right, guys, the Economic Ninja is out.